purchase your copy of TurboCAD from CADCourse.net. All right. Uh, so certainly when I uh, come into the office over there and I've seen you guys uh, using uh, Macintoshes uh, a lot these days, what is the focus on the Macintosh uh, version and, and what is the future of that uh, uh, technology? Well, it's been a real pleasant surprise for us. You know, we, we got back into the Macintosh market a little over two years ago and we had gotten, you know, comments from users saying, hey, you know, when are you going to make a Mac product again, We had because we hadn't really sold uh, a Mac version since about you know, 1997 or so. And we were also hearing input from Apple that they were really looking for CAD products. And, and, we, and we launched TurboCAD Mac. And it's, you know, at, at a retail uh, basis, it's been very, very well received. Uh, as many of you know, it's not the same code base, so it's you know, it's it's a little bit tougher for us in that in that you know we have a, a Mac code base and we have a a Windows code base. And ultimately, what we want to do is we want to have one code base that supports multiple operating system platforms. And so that, that's our long term goal. But we see the Mac uh, continuing to be a very viable platform for CAD, not because they're supporting Intel architecture, but we think that you know CAD in the same way that the graphic design lends itself to the Mac. We think that, that CAD can lend itself to the Mac as well. And, uh, you know, we're, we're continuing to uh, actively sell and market uh, the TurboCAD for Mac line. Excellent. I remember when I was working in development, we were looking at that and we considered a couple of uh, libraries to convert it over and it ended up being uh, not possible. Uh, but uh, is this, from a development point of view, is that... Uh, is the goal to have it as the same code base at the end of the day? Exactly. Um, and, and like you said, there are uh, technologies like QT that exist out there where you can write your code and make it cross-compilable. And obviously the trick is you want to make sure that if you are supporting third-party libraries within your application, that those, those third-party libraries will, will run in a Mac operating environment as well as a PC or Windows, excuse me. Right. All right. Well, it certainly sounds to me like you are focusing the company on solutions for the professional user uh, more so than uh, than in, you know, in past years where the main focus was simply getting it into the retail. And, and um, so that's very encouraging for our professional users. Well, yeah, I, I hope they are encouraged. I think you will continue to see good things in, in terms of features and stability and compatibility. And, you know, we were not going to abandon the retail market uh, for sure. It's still a, a big part of our business. But we want to be able to grow this business through the professional channels. That's where the growth is going to come from. That's where we're going to create value. And we think we've got some some good tools, and we know we have some great people to uh, allow us to achieve these goals. Right. Um, one of the examples of uh, your add-on strategy is is the Turbo Sketch product. Could you tell us a little bit about that, please? Sure. Uh, that was a, a first uh, developmental foray into the the world of plugins. We we saw an opportunity in that the SketchUp product has become very very popular not only at a consumer level, but also, I think, amongst uh, professionals in the, more so in the building or architectural design worlds than say the mechanical worlds. But we saw, as, as everybody has seen, this, this great abilities, particularly with their acquisition by Google, that thousands and thousands of copies of this program were getting downloaded. But the one thing that uh, SketchUp lacked was photorealistic rendering and lighting and ultimately a good robust materials library. So we said, hey, there's an opportunity. Let's take technology that we basically have both in our TurboCAD and in our floor plan products, and let's create a plug-in for SketchUp. So we did that. We, we did that back at the beginning of this year, and it's been a pretty good success for us. And uh, you know, we will continue to look at opportunities from a plug-in perspective uh, of a similar nature, whether you know it's for SketchUp or for other CAD or graphics applications. We'll, we'll, we'll keep our eyes open uh, for those sorts of opportunities. 
Excellent. But we are fortunate because we were able also able to do a retail play with that, and we were also able to get uh, Google's endorsement of our our package in that you know, we were allowed to put the Google name and logo on the package. Yeah, that's really exciting stuff. Purchase your copy of Turbocad from cadcourse.net.